In this example, suppose we need to add constraints and loads to the model. First, display the simulation file. Use a fixed constraint to completely constrain the bottom face of the part in all six degrees of freedom. From the advanced simulation toolbar, select fixed constraint. Select the face to restrain. Because solution 1 is active, the constraint is automatically applied to solution 1. It is also stored in the general constraint container, and can be dragged into other solutions as needed. Next we will apply loads to the model. From the advanced simulation toolbar, select force. We will apply a force perpendicular to the inner face of the part. The load will be distributed around the edge of the hole. To make it easier to select the edge, select polygon edge from the type filter list. Now only edges are selectable. Select the edge of the hole. Because we are defining the force on a polygon edge, and not on the edge of an element, the load is a geometry based load. This means that it will update automatically if the underlying geometry changes. For the force magnitude, enter 10 newtons. Next we must define the direction of the force. Click the inferred vector button to define the vector by selecting geometry. Use the polygon face type filter to easily select faces. We want the force to push the face outward, so select the face that is normal to that direction. Notice the arrow that indicates the direction of the force. Click the reverse direction button to correct the direction. The force load is added automatically to the active solution. Now rename the force load. Next we will create a load that pulls on both holes. We will add this new load to a separate subcase. The NX NAS Transolver lets you use subcases to analyze multiple loading conditions in a single analysis. Right click the solution. And select new subcase. Accept the default settings and click OK. Open the force dialog box again. Select the inner face on both holes. Enter a force magnitude of 10 newtons. Infer the direction of the force by selecting the inside bottom face. The new load appears in solution 1. Also notice that the bending load under subcase 1 now has an empty checkbox, and appears to be inactive. This indicates only that the subcase cannot currently be edited, because subcase 2 is active. Both subcases and loads will be included in the solution. Rename the new load appropriately. Now we can solve the model.